Hi, welcome back to DKCR. Uh, this is World 2, this is Beach. So yeah, this is where we introduce water. Thankfully though, it's not, um, you know, actually underwater. No, they went the opposite approach. Instead, it's just a death pit, <laughs> which is arguably even dumber. A little bit, yeah. The Wii wasn't that powerful, man. I don't know, I mean, it got to... It, it did have some games, like, that were um, pretty impressive, like Xenoblade. That's true. Why couldn't we import Xenoblade's swimming physics? I think DK could handle that. <laughs> Man, this game is so good. So, um, there, there are some posts in this level that you can just pound to make them rise. It's a thing they use semi-frequently? It is this level's gimmick. They use it often enough. There's a reason this level is called Poppin' Planks. Oh, I forgot about the, the bl wind blowing mechanic. Yeah, the, bl the blowing mechanic that only exists in this game. I don't really, didn't miss it. I don't think anyone does. Also, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like a mini game or what. Uh, I'm fairly certain you get a, you get a puzzle piece out of it, so that... Yeah, probably. I mean, yeah, uh, you collected it right away. Yeah, it's a puzzle piece, but like... It's like a bonus game? Yeah, it feels like it's setting up for a bonus game, but it's kinda not. No, oh, man, you destroyed that ship. Yeah, fuck that ship. That ship had a family. It, DK does not appreciate the fine art of shipbuilding. Truly, he is history's greatest monster. I mean, you've seen what he did to the Gangplank Galleon. Mm-hmm. He it's caused true. it to run aground. Nope, go back, hit the glowy. I'm just making sure that it wasn't progress or anything. I'm I'm honestly never sure like what when something is progress and when something's like a bonus thing. So yeah, it's just a bunch of bananas if you want those. I think if you get a lot of them, you might get a puzzle piece or something. I don't know. It depends. Sometimes sometimes it's a puzzle piece, sometimes it's just a banana coin. Yeah, they, they tie puzzle pieces to a lot of really arbitrary things. Mm -hmm. Like that one banana you left behind could have had a puzzle piece. Could have, but I stopped caring. Also, I really don't like this weight puzzle for the O. <laughs> but you gotta be, I guess, a little precise with like when you jump, and I don't really like that that much. A little bit. The trick, as most things are related to DKCR, is just go fast. The roll is really helpful in that regard. So here's a raft. For a certain definition of raft. Not much to say about it, really. No, it's... I do like the idea, though. I just... I like how levels will have, like their own little set pieces that you might not necessarily see ever again in the game, but it's just, it's nice. It, it makes it feel like everything is always new. Yeah. No, go back, go back, fire the cannon, fire the cannon. <laughs> I didn't actually know you could fire the cannon until I recorded this. I got the end and then I realized that um, the guy I was looking at said that like there was a puzzle piece like right before the end. Then I realize it's probably up there. Oh, you seem so close to firing the cannon. Oh, there you go. I blame the crab for help, um, getting that cannon fired. <laughs> oh boy, it's everyone's favorite mini game. Oh my god, this one is so awful. I don't know, I didn't really mind it that much. I wish that they had more, um, minigame types. Like, that's one thing that I really miss from... You're doing a great job, by the way. <laughs> um, that's one thing I really miss from the uh, the country games, the, the SNES ones, is that every bonus stage, while it was the same, like, concepts or whatever, every single one of them was, was unique. Yeah, there's like maybe 
five different ones in DKCR? I'd probably go closer to a dozen, but it's still always just collect all the all the items, and then they just change up the uh, the world theme. Yeah, tropical freeze is not much better. So yeah, I think I think it might just be that retro is bad at designing bonus areas. Well, Metroid didn't exactly have bonus areas. Oh well. Now I'm trying to imagine what a bonus area in a Metroid game would be. Race to the end with a morph ball in 30 seconds. <laughs> That's all I've got. Yeah. Well, no, see, that that would be that that is what it would be. But there would be like a mandatory bomb jump at the end, <laughs> and or a half pipe. Yeah, and until you and until you learn those techniques, you can't get the uh, the bonus Metroid coin. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, you got lucky on the lives one. Not that it really matters in this game. It's, it's really nice when they just give out so many lives. Yeah. That's the, uh, that's the deceptive thing about this game, is that you will have so many lives from the get-go, and then you get to the later worlds, and all of a sudden it's like, my lives are disappearing. Oh, don't I know it. The problem I usually run into is that my lives are stagnant. I am continually dying, but I am continually getting lives, and I never get anywhere. Mm, yeah. <laughs> the same goes for the banana coins. Oh, gee. I don't know about that, but I think there might be a puzzle piece hidden there. You sure about that? You sure it's not like a banana coin? It's a mumbo token. I realize now that you're supposed to throw the barrel at it, but I, I stopped caring. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what this level's gimmick is. I think it's just the, like, big piles of sand and buckets or something. I think? I, but I it don't also, know. It also introduces the, these, I, I uh, think it's squid the squids. Guys. The squids don't really have anything to do with the level name, though. Yeah. Hey, man, do you guys like bullet bills? How about bullet bills you can't jump on? Smooth. As seen in this demonstration. I swear, I pressed the 2 button, it just didn't go. I don't know, my Wii Remote doesn't feel very responsive anymore. That one was my own fault, but... Quick, you need to go see the healing pig. It's okay, I got a mini dank barrel. Can we talk about these sharks and how great they look? They're hilarious. Yeah, they're animated pretty nicely. Way to go, DK. You just ruined that fucking sandcastle. DK gives no fucks. All he cares about are, are his bananas. It's true. Bananas are very important to DK. We've seen what he'll do for them. Mm hmm God help you if you get in the way or between him and his bananas. Good barrel strats. I have no idea what that barrel's supposed to be for. I think it's supposed to... Uh, I think it's just for those crabs? Yeah. Because you got three crabs that are armored in front of you. They, I don't think they were armored, actually. Well, I guess you just can't, like, hit them from the, from the side. You couldn't roll through them. But a barrel could. Eh, oh well. It doesn't matter at this point. Decisions were made. Yup. That, that's an experience I'm very familiar with. I appreciate your exploration. Ah. I, I don't know, it just feels so deceptive when the camera, like, can pan over there. And then there's no reward for it. Well, I mean, there's the last reward. Death is the last reward. This level feels actually really short, now that I think about it. Most of these levels aren't that long, to be honest. 
Yeah, this one does seem like it's a... It, it's one of the shorter ones in general, though. Actually, it's been a while since I've played this, but I feel like most of the levels are on the average uh, length side. I feel like Tropical Freeze was had its levels a lot longer, especially in the end of the game. Oh, yeah, no, Tropical Freeze is a lot bigger in general. Yeah, I think I averaged, like, maybe four minutes on a level so far in this game. I suppose that makes nope. up for, um... No, Argate, you go behind the barrels, behind the barrels, God damn it! <laughs> He's mad at games. Um, no, I just... I guess it makes up for the fact that Tropical Freeze has less levels overall compared to this game. Yeah, that's... But they're that's, longer. That's kind of... The, it's sort of like the Banjo-Tooie effect. And... I don't know about that. <laughs> Banjo-Tooie's <laughs> levels were all big. Right, but like, compared to, like, Banjo-Kazooie, though, like, all of the levels... There were less levels, but all of the ones that were there were bigger. I think there was less levels just by one. I think, yeah, Kazooie had, like, nine levels, and Tooie had eight, I think. I don't know. But... Content-wise, I guess the games have probably about the same amount. I certainly would have wished, or uh, certainly would have loved to have two more worlds of Tropical Freeze, though. Oh, yes, yes, that would have been nice, but... Or for the, uh... The secrets to be longer, I guess. Yeah, the secret, yeah, the Lost World equivalent in uh, Tropical Freeze could really have used a little... More. Ex extra. But, yeah, we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves now. Yeah. So yeah, fire! There's a gimmick. Oh, it's the first rocket barrel. Yep, it's the other vehicle of the game. Alright, I just I just want everybody to stop and listen, because Gear Getaway is the best fucking song in the entire soundtrack. It's really good. The minecarts and the rocket barrel levels are really some of the better levels in the game. Not because they're like... Obviously they're not platforming or anything like that, but it's just really nice seeing all the set pieces that they put into these things. Especially later ones, they can create some really uh, cool scenes and some really neat tension or whatever when you end up really, really close to destroying yourself. Even now, this is like a... Even now, this is a pretty good set piece. Yeah. And you can obviously do that with a level that auto-scrolls around, because you can always make the same set pieces be in exactly the same places. Yeah, this this is definitely one of the things that, that Tropical Freeze, like, just cranked up to 11. It really did. Like, oh my god. Tropical Freeze's uh, minecart and rocket barrel sections are amazing. I wish there were a few more minecarts in that game, but uh, what there was was already great. And also the fact that since the music is uh, matching around with, like, uh, whatever's going on screen at the same time, you can hear that the music went up and got better, or it swelled as uh, the ship came in for that final bit. So they can do that with auto-scroll levels, which makes it really cool. I just, I yeah. really like these levels in general. Now, after that extremely exciting section, we're going to have a bonus area. It's this one again. But I mean, listen to this music. That's all I had to say about it. I was gonna say, but man, man, we were just listening to Gear Getaway. I don't think this music has shit to say, really. It's really hard to compete with the best song of the game. Yeah. I even like the subdued version that plays like after the um, you get off the rocket barrel. If there's one, th if there's one part that I kind of felt uh, wasn't as good with this game, it was the soundtrack and how most of it was just uh, remixes or homages to. I think it was only, really only the first Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, like it's not bad music, but it's not really anything. Um, new inspiring yeah 
Yeah, well, we talked a bit about that in the last videos, but uh, but yeah, basically everything. It's very safe. Like, yeah, safe is a good way to describe this game in general. Yeah. I mean, it worked. This game is still great, but uh, you can really tell when eventually get to the sequel that it's they were able to explore way more. Your Getaway is an original track for this game, right? Yes. Okay, just making yeah. sure. There are a few original tracks, and the ones that are are pretty darn good. Um, but I don't think there are that many. I think Your Getaway is really the only one I can think of off the top of my head. Well, I mean, this is new. This is original as well, but... Yeah, but this is just kind of one of those, you know, little it background... Fits. Oh, now you fucked up, Argate. Oh, there you go. <laughs> It's okay, I didn't need that guy anyway. I just had to jump in midair. As gorillas are wont to do, you know. I mean, we've seen DK doesn't really uh, have much respect for the laws of anything, be them physics or morality. It's true. I do think this uh, this here is a cute little puzzle. You see, where you have to you have to pound it to get the thing to come up so that you can blow on the, the pinwheel to get up to it. Yeah, it's nice. I didn't actually know there was an animation for like a long blow. Yeah, every so often they get some use out of that blowing mechanic, and it, it's kind of nice. But yeah, it's in general though, I don't know what they were thinking with it. It's just not that useful. Miyamoto really wanted it in. Eh, wanted it in, apparently. This might be one of my least favorite little mini games because of that platform being solid. Yeah. It would really benefit from it being uh, passed through. It would, but oh well. It is yeah. what it is. These ship set pieces are really neat. I do like World 2 because of how many, like, ship set pieces there are, because they are pretty cool. Yeah. It's oh. neat, you kinda... it's... oops. Well done. I appreciate what you tried to do. I will admit that I had not learned at this point that, um, these things with targets are barrel targets. Hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, there's a level that'll be coming up in the next video that I really, really like. That's probably my favorite set piece in this entire world. I think I know the one you're talking about. I can think of two that it might be, but I think I might know which one it is. What I like is that this level is, or this world is ostensibly supposed to be the water world or whatever, but without the ability, or with their decision to not have any actual underwater levels, they had to come up with other ways to represent Waterworld, and I think doing a, a whole level about beaches, or a whole world about beaches and ships and things, was a pretty good way to do that. Yeah, I can respect that. I mean, I like it a hell of a lot better than what they did for the sequel. I'll admit, I'll, I will say that I don't think the sequel did the Waterworld too badly, but I also haven't played it in a while, and I don't recall if I played those levels more than once. So... I'm a little stunned that they expect you to carry a barrel all the way through that minefield, but... Oh you well. Just, I think you just you just take it slow and, and careful and you're all good. Yeah. Ah well, who gives a shit about puzzle pieces anyway? <laughs> Useless. But, but Art, 